topic now is plant classification part two we continue with plant classification plant groups land plants or embryophytes are divided into smaller groups based on four main characteristics and if you want to know which land plant you are dealing with just like in our grammar work when we always ask ourselves to know what part of speech we also have questions in our botany work to know what land plants we're dealing with so there are four questions to ask yourself. First of all, does the plant possess a vascular system? What is a vascular system? A vascular system is a system of tubes inside many plants that transport food and water from one part of the plant to another. So you ask yourself, does the plant possess a vascular system? Plants that possess a vascular system are referred to as tracheophytes. Those are vascular plants. And plants without a vascular system are referred to as bryophytes. So if they have a vascular system, we call them tracheophytes, land plants, or we call them bryophytes if they do not have a vascular system. With tracheophytes, you ask the second question, does the plant produce seeds? Seed-bearing plants are spermatophytes and non-seed-bearing plants are tracheobionta. Seed-bearing plants are spermatophytes and non-seed-bearing plants are tracheobionta. With spermatophytes, you ask a third question. Do the seeds mature inside the ovaries? Those are enclosed, is it hidden? Or are the seeds exposed and naked on the plants? Plants with enclosed seeds are angiosperms and those that produce exposed or naked seeds are called gymnosperms. Just a fact, gymnosperms is gotten from the word gymno, which had to do with wrestling in the Greek era, the Greek period, when they used to wrestle naked over 2000 years ago. They used to wrestle naked, but now they've used it to refer to plants who marry naked. Those are plants that reproduce naked without hiding. So that's where we get the word gymnosperms from. Number four, with angiosperms, you ask yet another question. How many seed leaves, cotyledons, does the germinating seed produce? Plants with one cotyledon are called monocotyledons and those with two cotyledons are called dicotyledons. We have examples like pine and dicotyledons we have examples like beans maple milkweed and for monocots we have coconuts as one we have seed coats we have corn we have wheat those are examples of monocots so you ask yourself these four questions to know which land plants you are dealing with now in the relationship between different plant groups We'll look at the classification, how they are broken down. So embryophytes are broken down into bryophytes, as we said, non-vascular plants, such as hornworts, liverworts, mosses, or the tracheophytes or the vascular plants. If they are tracheophytes, we break them again to seedless plants or seed-bearing plants. If they bear seeds, we ask, are the seeds naked? Those are gymnosperms, or are they covered? Are they hidden? Those are angiosperms. If they're angiosperms, we ask again, are they monocotyledons? Those are ones that, that have one cotyledon or dicotyledons like beans, maple trees, and then we have those are, are two cotyledons. Just a quick comparison between monocotyledons and dicotyledons. Number of cotyledons in a monocotyledon is one, while in dicotyledons is two. Leaf vein pattern. For monocotyledons, they are parallel, and for dicotyledons, they are net-like. The root structure. In monocotyledons, they are fibrous, and in dicotyledons, they are taproots. Multiples of flower parts. Examples, like the petals or stamens. In monocotyledons, they are three, while in dicotyledons, they could be four or even five. For the vascular tissues, the monocotyledons are scattered around the stem while the dicotyledons are arranged in a ring near the center of the stem. Examples of monocotyledons are grasses, grain plants, palm trees, while examples of dicotyledons are beans, roses, and maple trees. So key points to remember, classifying organisms means arranging them into groups 
based on what they share with some organisms and which distinguish them from other organisms. Scientific plant names follow Linnaeus's dual nomenclature system and name organisms according to the smallest taxa into which they fall. Those are the genus or species. The dual nomenclature system is a system for naming organisms in Latin according to their genus and species. That is the two smallest taxa in the classification system. Land plants are also known as embryophytes. Tracheophytes are plants with a vascular system. Bryophytes are plants without a vascular system. Angiosperms are plants with enclosed seeds. Gymnosperms are plants with exposed or naked seeds. Right, so we have exercises to do and we'll leave you here to do your class exercise.